Welcome to the video where I pack for a hypothetical library excursion. Yes, I haven't gone to the library in practically a year and I do miss it ever so dearly. That's probably the real reason behind this video, but after all, it's just like Ron Weasley once said, when in doubt, pretend you're going to the library or something like that. First, I wanted to take a moment to show you this beautiful bag I got for Christmas. It's from this brand called Eco Suzy, or at least I think that's how you say it. And this is not sponsored at all, but they have some really cute bags and shoes and things that I would totally recommend checking out. So the first and probably most important thing I would bring are any books that I need to return. Sometimes I have so many of these that I have to carry some, but what can you do? I also take any books that I'm currently reading. Right now those books are The Return of the King and Emma. Next I would bring my phone. That way I can access Goodreads if I find a book that I want to read in the future but can't check out because I have a mountain of other books I want to take home. One of my libraries has a cafe, so I would probably want to bring some cash for that. Plus, I always like to have a dollar or two on me in case one of those books for sale catches my eye. I've never written anything at the library before, because before 2020 I was never really into writing as a hobby, but now it sounds absolutely wonderful, so I would definitely bring my writing journal along. I would also bring some pens. My favorites are the Zebra Sarasa pens, these Stabilo ones, and of course some my eyeliners because those are the best things in the world. I would also take my laptop because I love doing schoolwork at the library. I always get so much done there. I think it's because I'm completely surrounded by books at all times. I also do a majority of my writing on my laptop, so yeah, this is pretty much an essential. Also, if I plan on doing any schoolwork on a particular subject, I will bring along a notebook for that subject, just in case I need to jot anything down. So there you have it, everything I would bring to the library if I could in fact go there. You may be wondering why I didn't mention me bringing my library card with me, and let me just say that my biggest flex is that I know my library card number by heart, so I don't actually have to bring it with me. Also, do keep in mind that I don't take all of this stuff every time I go to the library. In fact, sometimes I don't even bring a bag at all. But I would bring all this with me if I were going for a few hours, which I sometimes do. With all that said, even though we can't go into libraries yet, there are still plenty of spectacular books just waiting to be read. So I guess I should get on that.